What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Satoshi Club, where today we're talking about a very trending topic and also a topic that's going to be important in the next 10 years, which is how blockchain and AI technology will complement each other and how we can all take advantage of it. So it's a pretty interesting read. I'm going to guide you through it. I'm going to explain the benefits, you know, of connecting blockchain and AI. Uh, first of all, obviously, starting with what is the blockchain? What is the AI for those of you that are new to this world? And then later on, we're going to make some deductions and we're going to take a look at uh, you know, a few technicals in the crypto market just to keep in touch. So as always, if you enjoy the video, drop a fat like and let's get right into it. The future of AI and blockchain. Now, blockchain and AI are the two most uh, arguably most important and emerging technologies in the world. Blockchain is versatile. It's easy to apply, whereas AI has surpassed all its limitations of, uh, you know, experimenting and all of this stuff going on in labs. So much so that, you know, Elon Musk and all of these people are saying, let's you know, put a ban on AI, you know, training above a specific level so that it doesn't, uh, you know, mess up the world and, you know, so it doesn't take take over the world, right? Which is kind of scary, but that's topic for another video. Now, blockchain is very important for encrypting data of the future, whereas AI is important uh, for making decisions based on this data. And this is where they combine its data. Data science is a huge emerging field as well. Um, data is very important. Google collects data. Microsoft collect, collects data. Uh, Apple kind of doesn't collect data, but they still do. You know, they love their privacy. But data is where everything is actually based. If you have a lot of information being fed uh, to a lot of eyes that are looking at it, there can be some efficiencies or also inefficiencies where when it comes to, you know, human interaction with stuff uh, in the real world. And this is where AI can help because AI, believe it or not, makes less mistakes than humans do if trained properly, right? It's clear the blockchain will make AI more consistent, understandable and logical as we see from this article from Turing. Now, what exactly is the blockchain? Well, it's an immutable and shared ledger. It's a very secure uh, and uh, basically what immutable means is that it cannot be altered at any point in the future, which makes it quite um, secure and it makes it the go to for any encrypted data that has to be stored uh, successfully. Right. And how the blockchain actually works is, for example, a user requests for a transaction. The transaction is then broadcasted to a peer to peer network that consists of computers or nodes. Right. And then this network of nodes uses known algorithms to validate the transaction and user status right in the network. After this, a verified transaction can involve crypto contracts, records or any other information. The transaction is then combined with other transactions. And once verified, uh, you know, it creates a new block of data for the ledger, which is basically, you know, you have the blockchain, you have one block, two blocks, three blocks, and then the new block is added right there. And uh, the new block is added to the existing blockchain, right? right here at the end of it and the transaction gets verified and executed and then this process gets repeated once again so blockchain is difficult to manipulate it's uh this difficult to deceive or hack and it makes it a very efficient data storing front something that you have to remember bitcoin is one of the best examples because you know they have tried to uh, shut down bitcoin for quite some time you know in the past 12 years or whatever since it was incepted but it was never really shut down nobody managed to because it is the only or one of the only truly decentralized platforms out there where the only reason to destroy it or the only way to destroy it is if you shut down electricity in the entire world which is quite unlikely to happen now ai uh, or sorry bitcoin also reduces uncertainty provides total transparency and prevents fraud by being on a secure and immutable ledger that can always be read never altered and basically just never tampered with right like uh, you know traditional systems can be now, what is AI or artificial intelligence? It also combines, you know, machine learning, robotics, uh, cognitive systems, and it basically uh, creates this machine that mimics the problem solving and decision making capabilities of the human mind through neural networks, these cognitive systems, knowledge, perception, planning, evaluating, um, training, natural language processing, machine learning, robotics, and more. So automated decision making, recurring tasks and reducing human errors are a big part in the AI book. Now, Internet of Things, robotics, uh, big data and all of this stuff is fueled by development in the AI sector. So it's quite an important sector in the world as well. And here are some of the ways where blockchain and AI can actually be connected. So first and foremost, uh, transparent data sources, right? You need important and this 
ample data to train an AI application, right? And as blockchain is the most transparent technology, it's a very reliable source of refined data. So it's quite self-explanatory. You're gonna have good data, and if you have good data, the AI is gonna work well. And this is the first thing where blockchain and AI can actually overlap. Now, second of all, decentralization for managing AI trainings uh, is actually quite useful because it ensures there's no single server handling all of the AI application operations and training, which could be, uh, you know, if you have a single server, it's like a single human looking at something and the server can make a mistake, right? It can burn down or whatever. But if you have decentralized network, right, such as, uh, you know, blockchain, uh, it doesn't, it just simply doesn't allow that to happen, which is also uh, a very good mix of blockchain and AI technology. You have privacy protection where cryptographic techniques strengthen privacy, uh, which uh, is important. You know, when you have an AI handling a lot of data, there has to be a highly complex privacy structure so that nobody tampers with it and nobody messes around, which is where cryptographic techniques or blockchain, uh, you know, which is based on cryptography is the most important part. Now, distributed computing power is also important because you need a lot of firepowers, as they say right here, or firepower. Uh, to train and maintain AI. And obviously, Bitcoin or, uh, you know, blockchain uh, in general has a lot of decentralized nodes in general, which provide a lot of computing power for AI to train and develop successfully. Now, security is very important. And with smart contracts on the blockchain, um, you need to have a secure smart contract and a smart contract that does exactly what it's supposed to do. Now, AI is actually used to generate more secure uh, smart contracts than uh, are currently possible with blockchain because with uh, you know the blockchain uh, it's humans planning the smart contracts but AIs can actually go through a lot of different circumstances for where the where the smart contract would fail or open up a loophole uh, where the AI is actually able to plug that in simply because it's able to process vast amounts of data in a very short amount of time by generating a very efficient uh, technique right now we have reading efficiency as well where blockchain applications in general sacrifice reading efficiency for achieving a more write intensive approach with this uh, level db uh, write intensive dms right and uh, if you're asking what this is i do not know enough to explain it to you but i do recommend you check out these pso algorithms because they are quite interesting and i may actually make a video about them in the future but in general since blockchain is uh, reading heavy, right, and, and, and more writing heavy than reading heavy, AI actually helps in impro improving the speed of data queries because it helps with the reading of the data itself, not the writing side, right? Authenticity, using blockchain for storing and distributing AI modes, uh, it actually proves an, uh, provides an audit trail, which is very important, and obviously immutable, transparent, secure, that's what blockchain provides. If it provides it to AI, beautiful, right? Augmentations, so when you provide access to larger data within or outside uh, the organizations, blockchain actually helps the AI scale and provide more actionable insight, manage model sharing and data usage, and also create a transparent and trustworthy data economy. Now we have automation as well in the ninth spot, and you know this is the last thing where basically all of these newer values and innovation in this sector will bring more and more uh, automation, you know, with robotic process automation and all this other stuff coming out in the in the future that we may not even know about right now, um, removing frictions and in increasing speed and efficiency in uh, general work. Now, some of the benefits of interlinking this stuff is uh, obviously said right here. I mean, that's basically what we went through right now. And the ideal model is, okay, you have AI uh, to handle your data. You have blockchain to provide no central authority. So a decentralized system with a lot of firepower. When they are combined, they can read data fast, write data efficiently, not make any mistakes, create perfect smart contracts and work very nicely in synchrony. The use of blockchain with AI can impact different industries and provide a dynamic way to derive privacy, energy, control data regulation, security and scalability. Now, how do AI and blockchain technology complement each other? Well, we just talked about that. Uh, a decentralized AI system, I do recommend you just simply Google this stuff because there's a lot of blockchains that are operating uh, within bounds of AI, but be careful because a lot of them are just lying and using AI just for marketing purposes. But here's a little summary, right? So AI is the capability of a machine to stimulate human behavior for problem solving, language and identification. Blockchain uh, creates tamper-proof distributed peer-to-peer -peer system of ledgers containing immutable time-stamped and cryptographically connected blocks of data. Combined, they can do a lot of things. So you should keep this in mind, you know, uh, you should 
you know maybe research these security methods i'm just going to give you the names we have the security method um the secured multi-party computations we have the gan cryptography and we have uh homomorphic encryption as well which i also might discuss in a future video if you guys are interested in it so i can't wait to see what happens in the future and just a little glimpse of bitcoin at this point we have a strong zone of resistance around the 30k level and we are nearing towards it right now now have we already reached it or not well uh, i personally think we still have a little bit of long to go but uh in general we also have a very strong zone of uh support that did form around the previous all-time high back in 2017 uh, that did act somewhat like a zone of resistance it's maybe better to point it uh, to plot it with one of these uh, rectangles because it is a an area of value right it's not just a simple line and uh, yeah what i can see for bitcoin going on right now is either you know a little uh, consolidation within this area as money markets start to uh, you know return to normal uh, or you know breaking out and moving up if money markets return to normal in a much sooner way or also you know in the worst case we may even plop down to the 10k level for one last push and then uh, you know start emerging towards the upside later on so that's pretty much it for today's video i hope you all enjoyed it make sure to drop a like subscribe to the channel comment down below with your favorite thoughts and opinions and lastly i'm not a financial advisor and you should do your own diligence before investing into anything in the blockchain crypto or nft world so thanks for watching and i will see you all in the next video